morning. Good evening. You made it. Yes. Some are still coming in. If a woman steps over you looking for her seat, help her immediately. We all know it was no small task getting here. And I'm not talking about the traffic or the parking or the flat tire or the tickets or the 400 steps you had to climb to get to your seat. I know, it's frustrating and a little inconvenient, but it is nothing compared to all the other things we had to do at home all week just to get here tonight. Yeah. I mean, did anybody else spend the last five days preparing to be away for 24 hours? <laughs> Have you ever felt like saying, oh, I'm just one person? Well, the truth of the matter is we're not just one person. We play more roles than Meryl Streep has ever dreamed of. We have an entire Broadway cast living inside of us. In fact, I'd be willing to bet that almost every woman here plays at least three leading ladies. There's Molly, the mom. I read books and I bake the snowman cookies, hug the kids and drive away the spooky spookies. Wendy, the worker. I am so tired of this job. All I do is work all day long and nobody, I mean nobody, appreciates anything I do. Linda, the love slave. I lounge around in lingerie and lavish loud luscious love words on my husband like. Did you lock the door? <laughs> if we only had to be one leading lady, it would be easy. I mean, who couldn't be a great love slave if you didn't have to be two other people at the same time? There would be nothing to give us a headache. <sighs> Good morning, sweetheart. Did you sleep well? Why don't we just stay in bed a while? <laughs> Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Brush your teeth and then I'll read a story, story. Sweetie, I do not have time to read you a story this morning. I have to be to work in 30 minutes. I have to drop off the cat at the vet, get the cleaning and get the oil changed in the car. So let's go, let's go, let's go. <sighs> On a good day, multitasking. On a bad day, multiple personalities. <laughs> No wonder we had such a hard time getting here. Our households aren't losing one person, they're losing three. Actually, that number seems a little low. Because apart from our leading ladies, we also play supporting roles like Charlotte, the chauffeur. I put 4,000 miles on the minivan last week alone and single-handedly changed a flat tire on the freeway. Michelle. The cook. I offer them three square meals a day, and they want the round ones. Arlene, <laughs> the accountant. I handle the allowances, I dispense the lunch money, I write the checks, and I record the ATM withdrawals that he does not record. <laughs> Susanna, the psychologist. Hmm. Why do you think he does not record the ATMs? What was his relationship like this, his mother? <laughs> we don't talk to ourselves. We talk among ourselves. <laughs> Admittedly, this might make us a little hard to understand. Like when our husbands or our kids ask us questions, we don't always get to choose who answers them. <laughs> like when my husband says, honey, what's for dinner? I think it would be great if Linda the Love Slave could answer him. I could peel some grapes and rub your feet. But he gets Wendy, the worker. Honey, I have been working all day long. I picked up the cat from the vet. I talked to your mother for over an hour and here you want, ha, dinner? I just cooked last night, no way, man. And he's thinking, okay, 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 it was just a simple question. Macaroni and cheese again tonight, that's fine. You want me to add the water and put it in the microwave? <laughs> is, uh, is Linda around? <laughs> or how about when you take your kid to get a hamburger and he says, mommy, can I have an ice 
cream sundae? Yes, you can, but later, Gator, after dinner. But Molly the mom is held hostage by Arlene the accountant. No, sir, I just spent $14 on hamburgers and there is no way I'm buying ice cream out when we have some at home. Oops, we're all out of ice cream. I ate the last of it last night. <laughs> hmm, why did you eat all the ice cream? What was your relationship like with your mother? <laughs> we have to laugh or we will cry our eyes out. Because in addition to our leading ladies, our supporting cast, we always have a few uh, cameo appearances like Erica, the exercise queen. <laughs> oh my God, I'm starting like my new diet today. <laughs> ha! It won't last. I'm making my beef patties tonight. No, you're not. The kids won't eat a bite of it. Then I will finish their and all of it. <laughs> hmm. Why don't the children eat what is put in front of them? Hmm? What was their relationship like this, their mother? <laughs> Wait, I am their mother. <gasps> no, you're not. I am their mother, mother. I like to pamper myself with long, luxurious baths. Wait. Marie is coming in 10 minutes to pick us up for the conference, so let's go, let's go, let's go. Well, I don't like to ride with Marie. I want to drive. But then that means I have to pay for parking and for gas and for the upholstery to be redone because of Gladys laughing too hard. <laughs> hmm. What was Gladys' relationship like with her mother? Wait, wait. I want to change. I don't like my pants. They make my butt look big. <laughs> Your butt is big. You like my cooking. I am so doing laps around this entire concourse like all weekend. Is anybody gonna do it with me? <laughs> all right, Maria's here and the babysitter is coming at five. Hmm, what was the babysitter's relationship like with her mother? No TV until all your homework's done. I left a love note for Steve. I put food in the fridge. Don't you go ordering nothing. I left a check for the babysitter and it's on the table. I'm bringing my new La Grinch. I'm still bringing my new leg warmers. <laughs> all right, Marie, here we come. <laughs> we are simple, terribly complex, wonderful female creations of God with more roles than any leading lady and more responsibilities than the CEO of any major company but women who desperately need to have our souls stirred, our spirits inspired, and our hearts refreshed. So welcome to Women of Faith. You have come to the right place, all of you.